Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense, continuing our anatomy playlist. In previous videos, we talked about skin, fascia, tendons, bursa. Today, we'll talk about the first type of cartilage, which is hyaline cartilage. As you recall, we have three types of cartilage. We have hyaline cartilage, we have fibrocartilage, and we have elastic cartilage. Today, it's hyaline, baby. It looks very translucent and glassy and beautiful. You'll find hyaline cartilage in your trachea and bronchi. All of your laryngeal cartilages are hyaline, except the epiglottis. Your costal cartilages are also hyaline cartilages, and when a bone articulates with the next bone, those articular cartilages are also hyaline. Hey, Medicosis, what does the word hyaline mean? It means clear. Look at what grandma is doing to me. Granny's skin is piercing my subclavian vessels. Enough with these dad jokes. This is my anatomy playlist. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. Cartilages are mesodermal in origin. Cartilages are connective tissue. Hyaline cartilages exist here at the articular surfaces. They are also here, the epiphyseal cartilage plate or the growth plate, which helps you grow via endochondral ossification. The cartilage will die. And on top of that dead cartilage, we'll lay down new bone, endochondral ossification. Because we have two types of ossification. The first one is called membranous ossification. The second is endochondral ossification. We'll talk about that later when we discuss bones. We talked about the difference between bone and cartilage in the previous video. Cartilages are firm. They have type 2 collagen, mainly. They are avascular, no vessels, no lymphatics, no nerves, no calcium. The cells in the cartilage are the chondrocytes and the matrix is not calcified. Under normal circumstances, if they become calcified, that's a disease, such as the famous osteoarthritis, which happens with old age. It's a degenerative joint disease. Cartilages are made of matrix and cells. There is no calcium in the normal cartilage. What are the cells? Chondroblasts, chondrocytes. The chondroblasts are the stem cells that make the chondrocyte. Matrix, water, type 2 collagen, glycosaminoglycans, such as hyaluronine, chondroitin sulfate, keratin sulfate, and proteoglycans. Let's review the different types of collagen. Type 1 is in bone. Type 2 is in cartilage. Type 3, look at how flexible this is. You find this inside blood vessels. Type 4 is under the floor, which means in the basement membrane. And type 5 is in hair and placenta. There are way more than this. I believe there are 10 or more types of collagen. Today's topic is hyaline cartilage, but before we talk about hyaline cartilage, just remember that there's a transcription factor known as SOX9, which promotes chondrogenesis, formation of cartilage. Hyaline cartilage, they are glassy and translucent, that's why we call them hyaline. Why are they glassy and translucent? Because they have scanty fine collagenous fibers. This is type 2 collagen. Do they have proteoglycans? Yes, it's called agrican in hyaline cartilage. Are they covered by perichondrium? Yes, with the exception of the articular cartilages. Other than that, all of your hyaline cartilages are covered by a layer of perichondrium. Just like how the bone is covered by periosteum. The muscle by perimesium, the tendon by peritendinium, the heart by pericardium, the nerve by perineurium. Normally, cartilage should not calcify. If they calcify, maybe you're an embryo and growing endochondral ossification, or old age, osteoarthritis, the degenerative joint disease, where you have death of cartilage. Where can I find hyaline cartilages? Fetal skeletal system in the endochondral ossification sites, which is basically most of your bones except the clavicle and skull bones. These are membranous ossification, not endochondral ossification. Next, your larynx cartilages have hyaline cartilage except the epiglottis. The epiglottis has elastic cartilage. The tracheal rings are hyaline cartilages, bronchial cartilages are hyaline, thoracic wall cartilages, all of these costal cartilages are hyaline, nasal cavity cartilages are hyaline, epiphyseal growth plate, hyaline, and the articular cartilages are also hyaline. Here's the epiphyseal growth plate, 
and here are the articular cartilages. Let's make it clinical. Do you remember my rheumatology playlist? We had a video about osteoarthritis before or degenerative joint disease. The pathophysiology of it involves the following. Chondrocytes releasing interleukin-1 and TNF-alpha. Both of them will stimulate metalloproteinases. What do metalloproteinases do? They are enzymes that degrade proteins and they need metals like zinc. That's why I get cartilage destruction. Moreover, interleukin-1 and TNF-alpha inhibit collagen and proteoglycan formation, leading to further cartilage destruction. So grandpa and grandma might lose their cartilages, especially their articular cartilages. Is this bad? Of course, because now bone will rub against bone, which hurts. Osteoarthritis is a very painful condition. We do not know the exact cause, and there is no cure yet. Although in many people, this disease stabilizes. Put differently, they get used to it. But for other patients, the debilitation continues. If you like this video, check out my endocrine pharmacology course at medicosisperfectionaries.com to learn about estrogen, progesterone, androgen, thyroid hormone, insulin, cortisol, etc. We even talk about the different types of insulin, many formulas to calculate insulin dose, and diabetic ketoacidosis. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.